Millions of people across the country are showing their support for first responders, nurses, doctors, and others. In today's Force for Good, Mel joins us to show us how one man has created a giant size thank you. Good morning, Mel. Hey, good morning, you two, and happy Friday, Jen, to you. I already said it to Bruce. You know, the idea that this man could even do this is pretty amazing. Stan Hurd, an artist from Kansas, wanted to give frontline workers a bouquet of flowers. Sounds nice, right? But we are not talking about any ordinary flower. Check this out. His bouquet is super sized. As you look overhead, it takes up half an acre. So you can see the vase. It simply says, thank you. They just get up every day and go put themselves on the line. I mean, it's, uh, it's heroic to me. So um, there's not a lot that I can do out here. It's not just for me. It's from, uh, from my kindred spirits here. From everyone. So Hurd has been creating crop art for 40 years. He starts with a painting, and then he takes precise measurements, plants what he needs, and then he sculpts with a weed whacker. Don't you love it? So he's planning to donate to a charity that helps others. He just hasn't decided which one yet, but he is already giving back in a big and beautiful way. Back to you, too. That awesome. is so cool. I always wonder how they do that. Yeah. I mean, it takes a talented eye and yeah. exact measurements, too. Right? And, you know, I also want to point out, you know, we, we talked about the doctors and the nurses, and there are also people who work in hospitals behind the scenes. There are people who work, you know, to make the meals, who, who clean the hospital rooms and, and make sure that the floors are mopped and things like that. And we have to say thanks to them, too, because their jobs are crucial in making sure that everything is sanitary and clean. And, you know, I, I just want to let them know that we appreciate them. As and well. their families. And their families, yeah. too, yeah, because they put them at, themselves at risk of exposure. So, big thank you.